Team Reeves. Yo, what's up, family? In this video, I'll be going over three common relationship myths. I ain't gonna hold y'all, so let's get straight to it. Number one, it's my partner's role to make me happy. No, it's not. It is your job to make yourself happy. You need to make you happy. Nobody else should be in control of that. That is nobody else's job but yours. Don't get me wrong, okay? Happiness is a product of a healthy relationship. If both of you guys are committed to one another, both of you guys are committed to being loyal, being trustworthy, serving one another and putting each other first, happiness would be a byproduct of that situation. That's a good situation to be in. Telling your partner that it is their job to make you happy is going to create unnecessary pressure. Okay, and once you have unnecessary pressure in a relationship, it can easily go bad because human beings are flawed people. We're all flawed creatures, okay? We can't get it right every single time. Like, this isn't a man thing, this isn't a woman thing, this is a people thing. But with that being said, your partner should be doing things that would lead you to be happy, okay? Like, if you guys are together and you're not learning what makes each other happy, then you're probably not supposed to be in that relationship to begin with. Myth number two, my partner shouldn't be attracted to anyone else. Physical attraction between sexes is literally a biological thing. It is in our genetic makeup. It's in our DNA to be attracted, physically attracted to other people. Being attracted to someone else while you're in a relationship, that's not the problem. The problem is when you allow that physical attraction to turn into lust and then you act on that physical attraction that's two two very big things that are very bad in a relationship okay let's use me for example let's say i have a significant other and we decide to go to the mall well when you go to the mall there are a plethora of other individuals there and a lot of females are going to be there okay so you're saying i'm not supposed to look at anybody else but my significant other why would you say that okay like there's literally like a billion people i'm going to see other women all right that's not the problem the problem is when you look at another person and you look at them lustfully and then there's another component when you act upon that physical attraction so let's say that i see a woman she's walking by right i got my girl with me okay and this girl just she just got it all hanging out okay it's just it's just all loose everything i mean it's just uh, <laughs> It, 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 you get the picture, okay? I can't say certain things on here. The problem is when I sit there and start fantasizing about it, be like, oh, man, boy, if I had that, I'd do some, ooh, I'd do some crazy to it. Like, come on, bro. You're disrespecting your partner at that point. The problem is when you just sit there and lust on it and you have all these fantasies running through your head and you and you just let lust take over. That's not okay. That's not okay. 100% of the time, that's not okay. And if you acting on that, like my girl goes to the bathroom or whatever and... I see another girl that looks kind of attractive, okay? So I'm finna go over there and try to like post up a little bit, flex a little bit, try to get her attention, see if she wanna, uh, see if she want me to shoot my shot at her or something like that. That's not okay. But just simply looking at other people and saying, hey, you shouldn't be physically attracted to them. That's just insane. That's just insane to ask. Don't do that. Myth number three, if my partner loves me, they would know what I was thinking or feeling. This is something. <laughs> This is something that is just really frustrating to me because I know people who really believe this. Listen to me closely. Listen, listen, listen. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, zoom in actually. Zoom in. No one can read your mind. I don't know why people believe people can read their minds. Nobody can read your mind, fam. Nobody can read your mind, bro. Nobody can read your mind, sis. Nobody, okay? If you know somebody that can read your mind and know your every thought before you think it, understand, you're probably sitting there talking to Jesus, okay? You're probably talking to Jesus Christ. Okay, let's say I have a problem with somebody on the street, just a random person for whatever reason. They did something to me I didn't like. But this person has no idea because I've never mentioned it to him. But I'm beefing, I'm beefing with this person, right? No, I'm not beefing with this person. I'm beefing with myself. That person has literally no idea what I'm what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. Because I haven't voiced my haven't voiced my displeasure with what they did, okay? So you do you understand like just listen to how that sounds. If you're in a relationship, please don't be that person that would be like, oh, hmm. 
Ugh. And then somebody asks you, hey, hey, babe, what's what, what's the problem? You something wrong with you? No, nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> like, bro, what the, what the, what are you talking about? You acting like you got a problem. If you have a problem, say what the problem is. <laughs> it's not, like, bro, it's not hard. It's not difficult. Say what the problem is. Say what the problem is. Use your words. Use your words. But other than that, chat, that was my three relationship myths that I want to go over with you guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This is something that's going to be really, really interesting to have a conversation with you guys about. I don't want my opinion to be your opinion. I want to hear what you got to say. If you agree with me, let me know why you agree. If you disagree, let me know why you disagree. But do it respectfully, okay? I don't tolerate disrespect, so I'm going to be respectful respectful to you guys. I would like for y'all to do the same. Other than that, man, that's all I got for y'all. I'm out. Peace. Family, if you found this video valuable and you want more content like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. Hey, just find a button and hit it. Or I'm going to hit you. Nah, I wouldn't do that to you, though. But I love y'all, man. Y'all going to have a blessed day. Tell somebody you love them. Go drink some water. Say a quick little prayer. Go be great. Easy. Bah. Team Reeves. Ooh. Ah.